Hello Magical Box Lovers and welcome back to my channel. My name's Helen, I'm 44 years old and I live here in very, very sunny Blue Sky Derbyshire. Love it, absolutely love it. Yay, hope it stays like this. I really do, I love the blue sky, yes. Now then, if you've watched my previous video, the Freya's Cauldron monthly subscription box for May, uh, you'll have heard that I am no longer doing makeup videos. And the reason for that is purely because, uh, well, I've got too much. <laughs> and I'm wanting to concentrate on the makeup that I have rather than buying in new makeup. Uh, so yeah, it's with doing uh, my uh, decluttering and empties for the year that it really brought home to me how much I haven't used the makeup that I've got. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why I'm no longer doing makeup videos, so I'm not just buying in all the time I am concentrating on what I've got and also I'm more into my magical box side of uh, my videos so I thought it'd be more interesting for you to like, focus on one thing and make it less confusing one minute I'm doing makeup one minute I'm doing magical boxes so that's that's what I'm doing I'm just doing magical boxes and also as a treat for you guys, um, recently I've started to develop a love for tarot and oracle cards. Uh, so I'm very, very beginner, very, very new and sparkly to it all. Years ago I did try tarot and it just wouldn't go into this brain. But now uh, with the help of, <laughs> help of YouTube, um, with watching videos, the extensive amount of information that's out there, the apps that you can get, uh, I'm starting to learn. Very, very slowly but it's starting to set into this brain so what I want to share with you are my tarot card collections and my oracle card collections and so today I'm going to share with you my season of the witch oracle, oracle, oracle cards now these are the first set of oracle cards that I bought recently uh, when I first got into the craft about 20 years ago uh, I did buy some uh, angel cards but I never really never really gelled with them i don't really gel with angel side of things i'm more of animals plants rather than angels so i've gifted those um so yeah and uh, i've also got a fairy oracle deck from from then um uh, that, that i had to blow the dust off but I will get around to using which I will get in time to show you but I wanted to show you my recent purchases and um, yeah this is the first one that I got which is Season of the Witch Oracle deck and it's the Samhain version I love Samhain it is my my year Halloween Samhain my time of year right from being little I've always 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 had an affinity for it I just find it amazing um, and that was before I realised uh, that my spirituality really was, well, I, as you know, uh, I am Wiccan and I also practice witchcraft. So yeah, so before I realised what I actually was, I was into all this stuff. So yeah, I kind of, they were like nudging me, go on Helen, this is what you are, don't go on, go on. So yeah, so I had to have this set and so um, she's also done the Yule, she's done uh, Beltine, uh, I don't know if she's done an Ostar, I think she's done an Ostar one, I'm not certain, but yeah, I haven't got the other decks because I don't really gel as much with those as to what I do for the uh, Samhain one, so that's why I've only got this one. Now I did make a mistake because as you, as, as you know, I'm new to buying tarot and oracle cards now. I bought this version. Can you see the difference? I didn't realize that these were copies. <laughs> so if you see any tarot cards, these, um, the Roth eBay, um, this is from Amazon. Amazon, I tend to not have problems with in that respect very very few of them but ebay i'd say like every other one is one of these please be careful um, as you can see there's a huge difference in size the box is completely different these are like what i'd say usual playing card size uh, so yeah what i'm going to show you with these 
if anything says to you comes with a PDF guidebook now they are the copied ones these are those okay so I didn't know luckily it was early on uh, getting to know it and you you'll be upset I mean I got these and loved them I didn't know any better so they come with a QR code on the back download that you get a PDF file now these are like I say the standard like well, I'd say playing card side ideal if you have really small hands perfect because you can shuffle them quite easily they're not really big the cardstock's quite flimsy so perfect if you do struggle with your hands so in that respect then yes but obviously the money doesn't go to the person who's actually created it so in that is why i i've got rid of it now it's actually got a good home and um, so that's why i wanted to do the video first to show you the differences now so yeah that's the difference the box I'll show you this box opening so I should tell you it's from is from a beautiful lady called Juliet Diaz she has got some books out I've got her witchery book and uh, she's got the altar within and um, I'm actually waiting to get that amazing author and uh, she makes you cry when you read her books it really comes from the heart absolutely amazing lady uh, so yeah she's uh, somebody who I highly recommend Juliet Diaz and uh, Lorraine Anderson I think Lorraine Anderson is the lady that did the artwork art can't speak uh, so yeah so difference size wise beautiful edging cheap nasty edging look at that the backs There we go. Cheap, nasty. The card, stiff, proper size cards. These, cheap, nasty. So yeah, so these have got a good home. Uh, so yeah, box, beautiful box, like this. It does come with a guide, but I've actually left that upstairs, so I'm going to pop me in on a quick pause and I'm just going to grab the guide, but just be a sec. There we go, I'm back. <laughs> so yeah, this is my bedside cabinet, so I'm actually reading it at the moment. Um, so yeah, so it's by Juliet Diaz and Lorraine Anderson. Um, actually, I thought the artwork was by that lady, Lorraine, but it's not. It's actually by another lady. I'm just trying to find it. So the Ill Ill illustrators, okay, Gaudia Rose. There you go. So she, she's the illustrator. So it would have been nice if they'd have put her name on the front cover of the box as well. But yeah, amazing book. Look how thick that is. So it's about <laughs> the thickness of that deck, the, the that old deck that I got. So yeah, a really good guide book. So I'll show it you bit better so you've got your full colour illustrations really in detail and each of the cards do have like a little poem on the bottom absolutely amazing so yeah and it comes with as usually it, it tells you about the cards about the authors and about the uh, artist and some card spreads, um, your typical three card spreads. And it's got ones like um, the graveyard spread. That's the graveyard spread. You know, it's like it's really, really interesting. And of course, for me, perfect. Uh, there we go. See, so yeah, how many pages is it? It is. 176 pages so it's a really good book but it's not something that's long-winded it really sinks in and it's kind of been a bit scary <laughs> because the messages that I'm getting are always bam straight on I mean you can you can tell because I bought the the proper deck from it that that's how much I love the cards and say there's 44 cards I'm getting the same selection each time for each of my questions it's like yeah you haven't listened to me don't do this, do this, do this. And it's like, I want a different cult. No, you haven't listened to me. This is what you need to listen to now. So it really, really is a good deck. I can't stress it enough. So 
to the cards beautiful absolutely beautiful look at those edges and on the back so I'm going to show you each card in turn no specific order I'll just try and get them so there's no light on them so haunted see so yeah, they've got a saying on the bottom I'll just read you this one I'm not going to read you all of them because it'll take forever so haunted the breaking of the floor beneath your naked feet the creaking of the walls as the cold kisses flesh you're never really alone when in the company of haunting within bone amazing and they are numbered as well so you've got to uh, so you know where you can find the cards uh, they're in alphabetical order on there which is really good so uh, also you, you've got your numerology side to it as well so that's healer or hallows eve that's circle oh that's a little like a circle to, you know because obviously it's mirror effect uh, grief Potions and spells, protection, rooted, apples, altar, graveyard, divination, dark moon, banshee. Ritual reflection that is what is on the guidebook in the box. Pumpkin. The weird thing that happened to me was I'd got a, a delivery of a few um, cards, and this was in it. And I got the pumpkin card on this deck, a pumpkin card on another deck, and a pumpkin card on yet yeah, another deck. So, on three different cards, I had pumpkin. And it was just so so bizarre and it was for the same question as well so yeah it was it was one of those moments you're like the chat something's trying to tell me something here <laughs> so yeah so that's pump i'll read you what it says about pumpkin so pumpkin on caging the spirit within thou fertile power uh, you hold to taste your buttery velvet upon tongue is a gift i shall cherish each day that comes so like i say each one has a lovely little poem there we go so elements I get this one quite a lot but I do work a, a lot with the elements uh, with my rituals uh, I can't read what that says mischief cauldron I'm trying to get it so it's not shine too much you can see how beautiful they are uh, coming of winter never had that card nature spirits Owl voices, the veil, elders, witch, witch, can't say it, <laughs> wolf, ancestors, black cat, bat. Room. The underworld. What is it? Unhallowed. I can't read that. Either. Rebirth. The harvest. Spider. Silence. Uh, crystals and herbs. Seduction. Uh, greet the darkness, journey, intuition, I've been getting that a lot but I've started to get into tarot, so frog, oh crikey, transformation, I'm trying to read that backwards, candle magic and I got candle magic when I just worked some candle magic so yeah these are eerily spot on eerily um, how I work my cards is I will do what I call a general shuffle 
So I'll tell my cards and general shuffle. So I'll just shuffle my cards like this. If I do struggle with cards um, that are bigger than this, I will shuffle from topwards, if that makes sense. So instead of holding the card sideways, because I have got arthritis in my fingers, so I, I do struggle sometimes. So if I can't hold them and shuffle them like that, hold them upwards, shuffle them. So you're doing exactly the same, but it's from the top. I don't lay much stock into the superstitions that surround tarot that, oh, you need to be gifted them, you've got to do them a certain way, you've got to do this. The only thing I do do is I do cleanse them. Uh, whether they're new or whether they are uh, used because I have got some used ones uh, I do cleanse them I do with any of my objects anyway because they're part of my tools so that's what I do and the tarot the cards that I'm actually using because I use the traditional you know the uh, rate rider weight ones I, I've got some traditional ones I do like to charge them under a, a full moon like I do with uh, everything else like my crystals and such so I, part of my tools are what I use so I do charge them and have found I get more accurate results when I do but as in for the um, oh you have to shuffle it a certain way the ways that I find I, I shuffle like I've said the, the shuffling I just I say I'm doing general shuffle my question and what I'm going to do so I'm going to say a three card spread past, present and future. So I've got that in my head but I've said it out loud. So as I'm shuffling I'll do the general general shuffle and I'll say three cards spread, past, present and future uh, concerning my work, what, what have you. And um, we're doing like this. And then what I do, this is how I do it, not necessarily for how everyone else does it. I then do what I call a 13 card shuffle. So it'll be one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. 11, 12, 30, so that's 13 card shuffle. And then I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So then the 13, 14 and 15 are my working cards. So it's the 13th card shuffle and then it's from the 13th card onwards that I do my spread. That is purely my choice, that is how I work it and it's how I have developed it, it's how I've, I've tried it many different ways and I don't get the, the correct answers to the questions that I've put. I found that the 13 way, because I use 13 a lot in my rituals and my working, same with the number three, they are my numbers and I've found that that works every time for me, might not work for you, um, do what you think thinks best, uh, but yeah that's what I do, I like to do a general shuffle, shuffles it really really well and then the 13 card shuffle again that shuffles it again really really well and then the 13th cards onwards so if we're just doing a one card pull it's the 13th card if you're doing a 12 card spread it's from 13 and then the cards afterwards that's how I work it but do what suits you yeah what suits me isn't going to suit you so but try it try it try it. just a one card a one card pull but yeah, I, straight away when I change from, from doing like a, a certain way, you know, you like do it, I was doing like a fan spread and it was taking me forever to try and pick the cards. Oh, I didn't know. And then I, it was just getting too much to try and work out what to do. I was thinking too much about it. This way I can put my thoughts into the cards and let the cards work for me. So I tell the cards what I want it you know what I want it to tell me uh, what answers I want from it and it works it way that way but yeah handy hint if you do struggle I mean there's there's probably a, a law about there in town you must not do it from the top but I do I don't lay stock in the dominant hand and the uh, other hand either I just do what's right for me um but 
again do what you is, is same with anything in the craft do what you feel is right for you not what someone tells you to do it's got to come from you because otherwise it won't work so yeah that's my handy hint shuffle from the top just to, just like how you would do from the side like that. it just means if you can't get your hands back sometimes I can't I can't actually grab the cards so that for me is a good way of doing it into the day so yeah so season of the witch the Samhain oracle get it get it a million out of ten every time I use it like I say is eerily spot on get it so I hope you've enjoyed this so I am eventually <laughs> eventually going to go through all of my um all of my uh, cards and uh, share with them with you so I'll, I'll go through my oracle cards as well as my tarot cards because uh, I've got quite a few already you guessed that with me didn't you because yes I am a bit of a collector with whatever I do so yeah if you want to support the artist get the proper version if it says PDF file for the guidebook, avoid unless, like I say, the, to me, the only reason to get them, maybe to get them to try, I know there are a lot of expensive, is like these, the true black one, they are very expensive. I appreciate that, not everyone can afford them. That to me is, if you can't afford a deck, then yes, by all means. Or if you do have problems, if you've got really small hands and you can't actually handle these cards, then yes, by all means. I'm not saying, oh, you're not allowed to do what works for you. I'm just wanting to make you aware that if you get one that says a PDF guidebook, uh, it's not actually a genuine item. Whereas these ones are genuine items, as you can see. The size difference as well. And uh, yeah, the card stock is completely different. And um, there you go, that's it. Enough rabbiting from me, so I hope you've enjoyed it. And yeah, so it's going to be a regular thing. I'm going to show you my, my collection. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, like I say. And yeah, uh, please stay safe because COVID is still very much out there. The hospitals are on red alert because of staff shortages, because we're all off sick because of it. Um, so yes, please support your hospitals and please be mindful of going into a and e for anything that can be treated at home or your gp or even the pharmacist the pharmacy are absolutely amazing they give incredible you know incredible advice uh, if you can't get a doctor's appointment go to them at the next point of call uh, so yes please be mindful uh, about that and yet do what you can to stay safe and keep everyone else safe as well especially your loved ones so yeah keep that in mind and thank you ever so much for watching and i do hope you've enjoyed my new segment of my tarot and oracle card collection so thanks again and hope to see you soon so in the meantime i hope you have a magical day thanks again bye